Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Dear Evan Hansen. And this is the new film musical adaptation of the what seems to be a beloved Broadway show I knew nothing about. I just knew that this was a pretty popular show. Didn't realize it had this kind of story. And obviously there's been a lot of backlash about this film being very problematic and having a very like uncomfortable story to tell and this is from director Steven Chabosky who I love Perks of Being a Wallflower so like I was excited about this and like Wonder was a sweet film as well but watching this film I feel really confused on why this exists and why this is a thing because I agree this story is really hard to invest in it's very problematic, and I don't feel like it really tells a story that sells the best message for this. Because in the end, I don't think, like, what Evan Hansen winds up doing, this story is like this young man who has a lot of social anxiety, uh, with so so social anxiety disorder, winds up being basically bullied by this young boy Connor who winds up killing himself and because Connor had a letter that Evan Hansen wrote to himself on him his par Connor's parents think that he wrote it to Evan and that was his suicide note and Evan Hansen goes along with it the whole entire time and for like a good two hours of this movie because this is a two hour and 20 minute movie which is way too long and you have this story and there should be ramifications, there should be some kind of, like, just desserts for being deceptive and manipulative along the way. And just so unabashedly, like, committing to these lies and deceit. And it's really hard to actually support Evan Hansen in this film, despite the fact that the film really, 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 really tries hard to find ways for us to sympathize with him, even though he is causing horrible emotional damage to a whole school full of people. And in the end, it never feels like there's enough of a, like, ramification for all that. It seems like, oh, he just gets away with it. And you're just like, but why? And this, like, this film sets up all these themes and it's just like why is this being framed in a way that it's like okay you can get away with this because it's okay because you also have social issues but like come on this is horrible and Evan Hansen is a horrible person so it's really hard to make that connection then you have Ben Platt playing him who I get it he was in the stage show but is way too old for this role and the the makeup and everything that they put on him makes him look grotesque and way older than he regularly does. So what was the point? And it's really hard to watch. And this might be just a personal thing, but like me personally, there's a lot of moments when he's singing where it just like feels really shaky and like it didn't sound great. And you're just like, why did they go out of their way to specifically get him to star in this film? It's like, it didn't feel like a good fit, didn't feel like a proper fit. And you can't tell me that there aren't teenage actors out there who are able to like act and sing in this way. There are people out there, find them and put them in your movie instead of having this almost 30 year old playing this 16 year old with horrible makeup and everything on. And there's not a lot of characters that are particularly interesting or dynamic here. And you have like his mother played by Julianne Moore, who Julianne Moore is great. And she's just like this absentee mom that's just like every, like her character is, oh, I'm sorry, hon, you'll have to get dinner on your own. I got to work another shift at work. And then you have like Amy Adams and Danny Pino who play the parents of Connor. And like there's not a whole lot of depth to them at all and you have Nick Dodani who's from 
the show atypical and he's a fun side character he's snarky and stuff like that Caitlin De uh, Deaver though is fantastic I think she's the real star of this film she gives a great performance she, her character Zoe has depth and is probably the most interesting character in the film and you connect with her and like you can understand why Evan connects with her but the thing is, there's just so many uncomfortable and creepy moments, like Evan singing this one song to her as if he was singing to her based off of her brother's words, like her her brother, and they sound absolutely creepy and romantic and weird, and you're just like, like, this is okay, this is well-liked, she's into this, she, like responding positively to being like hey I'm gonna sing you some things that your brother said about you and they're all really like they could be romantic from somebody who's not your brother and you're just like what's going on here I feel like this film tries every opportunity to make you feel uncomfortable and strange but I have to admit there's like the music I think in general works well there's strong songs throughout and there's definitely emotion. And even if this film is completely misguided and out of touch with what's appropriate or not, this film packs a lot of emotion here. And the performances really show that because they're the ones these actors are really making the most out of everything that they have here. And even if it's a really hard watch because the story is so messed up, and there's no, doesn't feel like the film really cares how destructive and hurtful this whole entire situation can be because it just gives a lot of passes to Evan Hansen. There's definitely emotion that's brought to the table by these actors that feels poignant and meaningful and powerful. So I'm not going to lie and say that that didn't work on some level. And I'm not going to say that the music didn't work on some level. It's just the story, the themes, and everything around there, and Ben Platt's strange reason for being in this film just really takes you out of the film and takes away a lot from the experience. And it's overly long. There's plenty of moments where it's like people are just making the most horrible decisions because, you know, because we have to, because, you know, we need to keep the drama going. And... I feel like there was never really just desserts for Evan for all the horrible things that he did in this film. So in the end, I found this very hard to connect with, but there's definitely those emotional moments, there's definitely those moments that don't include all the really problematic and messed up things that's going on in this film. So in general, I think this is not a strong musical, uh, definitely a horrible adaptation. And I don't know if the stage play is less insensitive when it comes to talking about things like suicide and stuff like that, but boy, does this one take the cake. But those are my thoughts on Ev Dear Evan Hansen. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.